Have you ever hit a plateau in your skateboarding? It is literally one of the most annoying things ever that can happen within your skateboard progression. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to stop getting stuck within your skateboarding progression. Before we get started, if you wanna see more videos like this talking about skateboarding progression, tutorials, just anything about skating, consider subscribing and turn on the post notifications so you can be notified whenever a new video goes up. So hitting plateaus and skateboarding where you're just making no progression is very normal. Let me tell you that I'm honestly kind of going through it right now. I kind of just hit that phase where, you know, I've done a lot of my progression in my past skating over the years. I think I've been skating like almost 10 years now, but I've kind of slowed down with like the tricks I'm trying. I'm not trying really heavy tricks and I'm just kind of skating more safe. And it's funny because George Poulos actually just uploaded a video kind of talking about this. But um, yeah, like honestly, I don't really try too many crazy things in skateboarding. So my progression has, you know, halted a little bit. But that doesn't mean it's over. It doesn't mean I can't do anything, right? So if you're not making any progression within, you know, your skating skills, one of the things you can do while you're hitting that plateau is to really hone the skills that you're currently equipped with. So really work on just making your tricks more consistent, maybe getting more style on it. Your happiness in skateboarding shouldn't be solely based on the amount of new tricks that you're learning or the harder tricks that you're trying. Now that is fun, but at times it can be really stressful and sometimes, you know, just working on consistency can really help out with that and make you feel like you're actually still making progression because I mean, it is progression. So even though it's not new, you're really making sure that you can get these tricks consistent and you might be able to try them down stuff over stuff. But yeah. One thing you can do, like I said, is really just honing in on those skills that you currently have. If you want to see a video on how to get your tricks more consistent, I already made a video about that. Click the card in the top right corner here. So next, you can try tricks you're comfortable with, but add a slight variation to it, such as stance. So let's say you can't make any progression in learning new tricks, but there's some tricks that you haven't done fakie yet. Well, try those tricks fakie because, you know, they may be new to you, but that's still a form of progression taking time to learn those tricks because it might be easier for you since it's pretty much the same trick, but you're just kind of changing which direction you're rolling. So kind of going a little more into that, if you want to you know, advance a little more with that, you can actually try skating switch and nollie. So I mentioned this in one of my videos of why you should start skating switch early is that there is no dedicated time for you to start switch or nollie. You just have to start at some point. So if you're kind of hitting like a plateau in your skating, switch and nollie is the perfect place to start if you're ever getting stuck learning new tricks because I mean, you know, it might be a little hard at first, but it's pretty much like that whole progression phase all over again. So that's what I've been doing recently. I've really been honing in on nollie flips recently and I've never really had them consistent up to this point. So just working on those nollie flips, even though I've landed some before, getting them consistent really feels like I've been making a lot of progress within my progression. So really just consider trying switch or nollie. I think trying, you know, shoves, 180s, um, are you know really fun when you're doing them switch or nollie and they're not too hard to learn sometimes they can actually be easier such as like you know maybe nollie big spins they're not too hard to learn compared to the you know like nollie kick flip nollie heel flip and other variations and lastly of course i'm going to say this make sure you never give up now as much as you may feel that you're hitting a plateau and you're making no progress as long as you're continuing your skating you are making progress. So like I said before, it is normal for your progression to slow down, but don't let that stop you. You just have to keep pushing through and keep trying to get better. So even when I was hitting my plateau in skateboarding, that's actually why I switched to teaching skating more. It was really hard to like learn new tricks because I had learned so many in the past, but actually going back and really honing on those new skills such as nollie flips, or even cleaning up tricks in the past have really helped me feel like I'm actually progressing still within my skating. So speaking of progression, you know, I've been going to the skate park pretty much doing the same tricks over and over again. But recently, last time I went to the skate park, I actually tried, well, it's not really new, but I got no slides a lot better from when I first did them. So I'm gonna showcase a few clips of me tackling the no slide and really just working to get a better no slide than when I first started. It felt super good. It almost felt like I pretty much learned a new trick since my no slides weren't really legit to start off with. So please take all the steps I said into practice and just never give up on your skating. Otherwise than that, enjoy the no slide progression. No 
Get on top of it. That was a good one, but I like kind of tic-tac'd a little bit. Oh, getting close. Ah. Oh, no. I think that was it. That was money. I'm gonna do one more. Back to back, baby! Oh!